The Federal High Court Abuja has weighed into the rancor surrounding the method for nominating the governorship candidate to represent the All Progressive Congress APC in the forthcoming Kogi State elections. On Monday, 26 August, the court dismissed a suit challenging APC's decision to adopt indirect primaries, ruling that the suit had been caught by the statute of limitation. In the suit brought by Abdullah Hibelu, who is the chairman of the governor Yahaya Bello backed faction of the party in the state, the judge, Justice Taiwo Taiwo, held that it was a pre election matter which ought to have been heard and determined within 180 days as provided by Section 285, subsection 10 of the Nigerian Constitution. 37 of the aspirants have adopted the indirect primaries, while 20 candidates vehemently opposed the process. On Monday, June 8, 2019, the opposition to indirect primaries staged a protest at the party secretariat in Abuja, which almost degenerated to violence. However, supporters of the process insist credible primaries was only possible via indirect primaries. Well, there is a sinister plan by certain elements to derail the process. And sinister plan is this, that the party have adopted a process for our primaries and some elements are ganging up against the process approved by the State Executive Council. We are strongly, the 37 of us are strongly in support of the indirect primaries. We prefer the indirect primaries because indirect primaries, we know who you are talking to. We know who are going to be the voters. We have a lot of people carrying carrying membership card of APC. Where do you start your campaign from? And some of us have started already canvassing for delegates from our locality, from our ward to our local government, and we're already we're even moving out. And since the party have pronounced in direct, we have started working already. Okay, but to come to truncate that, because some elements want a direct primary because they want to because they have been sponsored by opposition party to come and destruct what we have. So that's why we have tried to come together as aspirants and also ask for a mode of primary. If they know some, we know some of them, some of them were in PDP, some of them were, they jumped to our party. I was there when APC was formed in, in my locality. We were doing registering people and snapping people and when APC was, we know how we formed APC. When we are doing that, most of these people, most of these people were in PDP. We want indirect primaries because we are in touch with our people. You can't change a winning team. We've been doing indirect primaries in Kogi State. We did in indirect primaries to win all our elections. We won nine out of we won seven out of nine of the Senate of the House of Rep and won two out of three and won twenty five over twenty five of the of the state assembly. We did indirect primaries in all these elections. We can't change it now. Direct primary election is when people vote for candidates of their political party by direct vote instead of by delegates at a convention. Whereas in an indirect primary, voters elect delegates who choose the party's candidates at a nominating convention. As the November 16 election approaches, the Kogi state polity is further heated up. Will this federal high court ruling on the party's primaries end the scuffle on the nomination process for the APC candidate? Or is there more fighting looming ahead? Many watch for more on this. Roots TV, Nigeria.